Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, this video is all back again for the LBX Little Bowser Experience videos. If you guys enjoyed them, to like, comment, subscribe, and let's go and start, shall we? In the last one, we learned some research about where our dad is being kept at a place called Angel Star. This, uh, coal heavy industries facility where they make a bunch of high tech machinery, as evidenced by, uh, Gabe. For some reason. So, in this one, we're gonna try to break into it and find out where our dad is inside of it. Now, because it's locking me into this and I can't run away to go do the grinding I want to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this on and then, or at least I'm gonna take on the first half, cut, do the grinding I'm supposed to do, and then come back. There was a chest over here with an item. Now, I don't remember what was in this chest, but after this chapter, we can come back here and another item will respawn. It's a different item, of course, but, um, yeah. So I guess my forced interaction before I can actually do some real grinding has started, so let's go right. In fact, I should probably check our mail, because we did end up getting some mail. Security bots are attacking, take them on on 3 of 3. Yes, as you can see, uh, my level's down here. They're in the 20s, unfortunately. Yes, we are over-leveled, quote-unquote, but like I said before, the only thing that your level really does is add core units to your thing, and that's where I'm gonna grind up to next, which is level 36. I mean, technically, the next core unit boost you get is level 37, but I, I mean, level 35, but I hate stopping at level 35, so I'll go level, all the way up to level 36. So, you know, after what, I think it's these first two matches, I'm gonna cut, and then when I come back, you'll see me that I have, like, what, 30 levels on me now? Also, I don't know why I'm not just doing this. Uh, who wants to get a big shot? You just ran into it. Oh, God, I, okay, wait, did Kaz already take out his boy? Oh, wait, that reminds me of something I said before. Oh, there's Stinger Salvo. And Kaz almost got him. Anyways, uh, that reminds me of something I said before about, um, about, uh, sniper rifles. I never finished the thought in the episode, but, um, in the part where we battled, uh, trying to think of their name now. In the part where we battled the Hitman, I said something about sniper rifles or, like, the danger thing where you'll get arrows on the side or, like, you'll get a warning shot. So, basically, when you see the words, <laughs> when you get an arrow, that means a bullet is coming your way. Like, it could be a bullet from a regular handgun, it could be from, like, a two-handed gun, or it could be from a rocket launcher, and it would be a missile in that case. And you'll see one an, an arrow coming from the direction it's coming from. We could avoid this, but I'm just gonna take it on because I can and I will. And, um... By the way, I guess I'll get to use those teleporter things from before just to, uh, you know, do some grinding. Anyways, where was I going with this thought? I actually forgot. Oh yeah, but anyways, sniper rifles, actually, they have a different danger weapon where they'll actually put up on the sign danger or warning because sniper rifles, unlike every other gun, they pack so much of a point punch that they can kind of wipe out an LBX within four shots. Like, some LBXs can take more than four shots barely because of their health, but... For most of them, they go down in four shots. So that's a thing. And I'm just gonna do this to this one. Okay. Oh, he walked out the way. This is why I don't like big shot. It's so easy to avoid. Okay, he's down. Amy's just going ham on front. And we all already won. Easy. Okay. So I'm gonna save. Then I'm gonna use my teleporter. And then I'm gonna grind off screen. <laughs> because that's the only way I'm gonna... Uh, get to the point I want. Like I said, I don't have to grind, but I choose to. We got photo fin- What did I see there? I saw something. I don't know what that was. I swear that I swear that was a field icon, but it probably wasn't. Okay. So I'm gonna save, and then I'm just gonna show off what the teleporter actually looks like, and then I'm gonna go grind off screen if you guys don't mind, and then when I come back, I'll be level 36, and we'll continue this episode. So if you just wanna see what the teleporter looks like, you just click on it, you just click teleport, and now I can go anywhere else in the world. So I will be back when I'm done with my grinding. And okay, I'm back from training. So first up, we have to discuss what a uh, training I did per se, which was here. Let me just move this aside real quickly so I can uh, actually talk under it. So anyways, the training I did per se is I just leveled myself up to level 36, which ended up allowing me to increase my core unit size to this amount. So now we have a bigger core unit. But the main difference is that if we check this, I have now acquired the Hunter 2 armor, meaning Hunter is like 10 times better than he was before. And I also acquired something called the Mega Destroyer armor, and I acquired a really powerful sword called the Destructor, I mean Destroyer Blade, which is one of the special items I was talking about where if I were to use it in the main game, I'd make it way too easy on myself. But considering the fact that the video where I asked you guys if I um, should use it or not hasn't come up yet, let us just swap it out 
for the Falcon Blade, and then we'll pretend like I don't have it. And if you guys want me to use it, well, I'll end up using it. Also, if you're wondering why I'm swapping in the Falcon Blade and not for dual pistols, is because if we go to party and I go to status, you will see that Van has mastered pulley arms and one-handed guns, meaning that he can no longer gain experience in terms of weapon-wise with these two, so might as well change it up and get new weapons. Amy also mastered her uh, daggers, so I gave her a pulley arm instead, and she's about to master swords. In fact, one more battle, she'll end up mastering swords. So, we have already... um progressed to a far extent during my grinding and now let us continue with the story actually just in case i'm gonna save because i don't know if i've saved or not and i don't want to have to redo all this because the last time i would have saved was yeah a bit while ago actually it's not too long ago but still not a while ago that i want to be dealing with so let's go ahead and continue with the story again oh do i have to go through the door it won't budge Guess we're not going in this way. It must be hard. It must be locked from the inside. Hmm. I know. We can get through it in there. Dude, we're not going to fit through this air duct. It's way too small. We won't know. I mean, we won't, but our LBX will. I get it. We can use our LBX to get in through the air duct and open the door from the inside. Good thinking, dude. Let's give it a shot. So, guess we're going through the... Oh, by the way, before I ended off earlier, or, like, went to go train, we got a lot more quests, which we will deal with in the quest episode. We also got a lot more extroller messages, for whatever reason, so let's go ahead and check them out. Got some more friend mail about where we left, and we don't care. Oh, was that... <laughs> Wait, I saw something about Len. Did Lennis tell us not to do something stupid? Uh, I think he may have been telling us not to do something stupid. Well, we're already here. Too late for that. No use in going back now. Might as well just deal with it. Oh, great. That's actually important. I should probably read all of these, but I, even though, especially because I don't actually know everything about this game, about the fact how many times I've played it, but hey, I have only lost one time during each time I've played this game, and most of the time is because of my own stupidity. This time also being because of my own stupidity. So I'm probably fine. Let's move on. At least you're objecting to the air duct. Yes. So, I guess we're going as a three-man? Go along the air duct to get inside, yeah. So, Van also now has a um, two-handed gun and a sword. And by two-handed gun, I mean he has the Executioner, the gun that the Hitman used last time, because I haven't learned my lesson, and I want to give him a uh, sniper rifle. We've just got to get through this air duct. This will be a cinch. We don't know what will be waiting in there, though. We have to be careful. Yeah, so we don't actually know our opponents, but... I have changed around our weapons. We now have two snipers because one sniper isn't dangerous enough. We need two. And great Scott, I had so much fun doing two sniper rounds with uh, Van and Kaz, respectively. Get, there they are. LBX, what are they doing here? Looks like they're in patrol. Gotta be careful. We can't just stand around. Let's take them out and move on. Yeah, well, also remember that thing I said a while ago where in a certain match, if you win quick enough, the match will keep going even if you've already won? Yeah, if you win within 15 seconds, it will literally go to the 15 second mark. I don't know why, but whatever reason it is, doesn't matter. And I could go for a breaking blow. Take him out. Oh, let's go. He couldn't avoid it. Straight up, though, uh, I got to use a lot of the LBXs. I got to use uh, Amy while she has her Bishop Blades. In fact, this was Amy's last match with her Bishop Blades. Dude, Amy with her Bishop Blades is so good. And speaking of which, well, now she's mastered them, so I guess I'm changing her weapons. Unfortunately, I don't have another two-handed gun, so I guess I'm changing her to pistols. You open the door using your LBX. And there's Achilles waiting for us. By the way, I want to let you clear, all these scenes with LBX, they will change to whatever customizations you make your LBX. So if you just had, a, like, a bishop sitting there, you would also see a bishop there instead of a kill. Also, that brings me to another note, but I'll get to that in a second. You retrieved your LBX. Looks like the patrol LBX won't follow up this far. We've cleared the first step. Those patrol LBX, they were the same models as the ones that attacked me at home. They were? Well, kind of. One of them was different. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. The head part was different, but the rest of the was all the same. Okay, so he does acknowledge it. Does that mean that this is the Noondawn Razor's base? Well, there be oh, Dad's being kept here. You gotta assume something. It's gotta be. I know my dad is in here somewhere. Okay, that's not what we said, but that is something we can acquire from the information. Mr. Cole. What is it? We have intruders inside Angel Star.
Ah, oh, I see. Do we not check for security cameras like we should have? That boy. Well, well, well. Who thought? Who would have thought our prey would have come to us? What will you do with them? Heh. I don't like the sound of that heh. Seems a bit too dangerous for my liking. Either way, um, my next thought is that we actually got some new LBXs. Like I said before, we had Destroyer, and I'm going to go through LBX Guy to show it off because I don't know, I don't feel like doing all the parts separately. So we end up getting Destroyer, and I'll show off what Hunter 2... Oh, but we got Percival off screen, which we actually got last chapter. I just forgot to show it off. But this is what Percival looks like. Knightly LBX by Armor and Crown Co. It's worth quite a bit. You can get it right after Kaz gets Hunter. Then we had the Crusader, which is one we just got when I was practicing. LBX with a focus of thick armor, the fruit of Pythus research. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Now, I'm going to try to find Mega Destroyer in this batch. Oh, there he is. So here's Achilles 2. Here's Konoichi Ni, faster, uh, custom LBX, a faster, stronger version of Konoichi. We have Hunter 2, version of Hunter with a focus on increased attack power. And then we have Mega Destroyer, the evolved form of Destroyer, if you can't tell. Upgraded version of Destroyer, the very visage of victory. So... You know, uh, we have a lot of powerful LBXs at our disposal now. If any of you guys want me to use them, I will. If you don't want me to use them, that is a respectable decision. Because I also got Destroyer's Broken Weapon, like I said earlier, which turns the game on autopilot with only one of them. And if I got a second one, well, the game goes even more on autopilot. And I already have to- I forgot to change for swords! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Well, I guess Amy's just going to get less experience this round, because I like to level up all their weapons so that they all have master abilities and they can be useful with any weapon, but whatever. Okay, I know what happens the second Amy jumps that fence. Oh, okay, she's not going to jump the fence once we all go. Yep, there it goes. I wouldn't say that, their eyes just glowed, but I assume that's what they're about to do. Huh. Interesting. These are no ordinary patrol objects. Doesn't look like they're gonna let us pass. We'll just have to beat through them and move on. Yeah, that's true. So, I guess we're just gonna go all the way down to these guys. So they're actually some special LBX, and that actually reminds me about something. So, if you guys remember from a while ago, we fought LBXs such as Gilman. And I'm pretty sure this is what the special attack routines number three message we saw earlier was notifying us about. But, um, can you please get closer? Thank you. Okay, fuck it. I just give up on this. I'm just gonna do this. Okay, bring out my sniper. Shoot this guy from behind. Where's- what's Kaz doing? Oh, that's what Kaz doing. So anyways, what I was about to say is... Gil LBX is like Gilman that we saw earlier in this Let's Play, and Chameleon that we saw earlier in this Let's Play. And in bits, which you see right here, if you look at their arms, they look weird from other LBXs. And the reasoning for this is because their arms are actually weapons. Kaz, why would you shoot it like that? Well, I hope this works, otherwise Amy's our only useful character. I missed! Okay, that's it. I'm taking over, Amy. And Amy already handled it. Never mind. <laughs> okay, cool. Never mind. Um, okay, sure. I won't. I... Yeah, you know, that's fair, because I actually thought the AI wasn't smart enough to do anything about it, and apparently it was. My bad, Amy. You open the door using your OBX. And there's Achilles waiting for us. Okay, then. Anyways, as I was saying... LBX is like Imbits, Gilman, and Chameleons, and other LBXs like them. Their arms are actually their weapons, which means that uh, if you take off their arms, they don't have weapons, but their arms count as one-handed guns and fist weapons. So essentially, they're always armed with their arms. I don't fucking know. That was a bad joke. I'm sorry. Anyways, what else I was going to give Amy again? I thought I said I was going to give her guns, so we'll give her two commando blasters because that's what Amy deserves and now all of her special attack routines are useless because she literally can't use any of them because she no longer has fist items equipped and she no longer has uh, sword items equipped. Which is, you know, the downside of changing weapons so constantly because once both of them change, then uh, you can't get them back for better uh, moves, but whatever. But here, actually... We can get a really good free item in this chest, right? And I walked past it and I ran into an encounter. That's just freaking great. Because there's an item in that chest that if I thought, if it's the chest I think it is, then it's gonna give Amy a really good item because it's a polyarm. And while, yes, Van is best with polyarms, he's not using one right now. But Amy is. 
and Amy would get so much benefit out of it because right now she's using the Dragoon. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll wait. Anyways, right now Amy's using the. Oh, that guy's actually using a sniper rifle of his own, and I missed. Great. Uh, we'll take him out. And Kaz handled it. Never mind. And. This was just an all out gun battle. Each side only used guns because Amy just sh shooting at this guy for some reason. Can you stand still? Thank you. Anyways, as I was trying to say, uh, Amy's current weapon for uh, pulley arms is the Dragoon Lance, which does burn damage and it could possibly overheat an LBX, meaning it cannot attack or use any form of attack routine whatsoever. But this one has the Staff of Sterebos, right? Hell yeah, Staff of Sterebos. And Staff of Sterebos does paralyzing damage, meaning they cannot do anything. Granted, it's for less time, because the Dragon Lance does it for more extended period, because obviously you can just defend yourself, but Zap of Sterebos actually paralyzes an LBX, so they can't move. Granted, I think it's only for like, I don't know how long it does it for. I'm going to just say it's 10 seconds, but I don't really know the number, so... You know, I always suggest getting a paralyzing weapon just because it makes it harder for them to defend because they literally can't attack. Like, they are stuck in the battlefield for that time span. And that's just fun. And Amy, considering her LBX is really fast and focuses on those hit and run attacks, she can definitely handle uh, doing a lot of paralysis damage. So I guess we're going through the next duck. And we can actually move a lot of way with this duck. And I'm not so sure if the enemy will follow us if we do it. I'm going to try just because I want to show off the entire duck. But uh, let's see. Let us see indeed. As I wait, just to make sure my camera's still working. Okay, on delay. Grabbing my sword. Moving forward, because the sword's faster. Okay, gonna do this. You can turn off your targeting system by uh, doing, by clicking the bottom half of that little thing right here on my, this one right here. And yes, I'm turning off my targeting system for a reason, because I'm trying to get all the way back here. How far is the AI behind us on any case, shape, or form? Okay, so they're getting closer. I might check up on them using their cameras. Who knows? If you're wondering why I'm wondering, one, ah, running, like I said, I just want to show off the map. Is this the farthest I can go? I think it's, this is the farthest I can go. So, let us say it's this. Oh, God. Yeah, see, Amy's following us, I think, right? So is she going to come back? I might have to go back for them. No, because Amy's coming this way. And Kaz, Ka Kaz, don't be dumb. Kaz, 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 lead them this way, please. Come on, Kaz, you got this. Yeah, Kaz is leading them this way, we're good. Because any second now, they'll get in range, and I just need to make sure I land on a ledge so I can do sniper shots. There we go. Okay, now we're good. So all I have to do is wait for a sniper shot. There he is. There's the end bit. Come on, come on, come in range. Come on, I know you're scared. Brought him into my death. Oh, screw you for jumping. There we go. We brought him into our nest so that they can come over here. I missed. It was a close range shot and I missed. Okay, Imbit's almost down and Imbit's down. Cool. Okay, take out the Deku and the Deku's down. Now it's on to this one. I would use a special attack routine, but the special attack routine would actually knock me off if I were to do it. So we're just gonna do this. Oh shit, I forgot they respawn. I forgot you respawn on this map. Huh. Okay then. Never mind. I'm gonna go take on this one. Okay. Cannot kill him. Okay, there we go. We only have to kill three of them if I remember correctly. Yeah, we only have to kill three. Now we can kind of just do what we want. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Thank God uh, it ended quickly. Can I jump up there? Nope. It's just stuck. For some reason. Huh? I think where there's someone below. Hell yeah. Okay, well that was fun. I always like doing that. I don't know why. With fully automated protection lines like this, factory workers will be obsolete. It's just some old guy. Shh, someone's coming. <clears throat> ah, Mr. Campbell, how good to see you. Toger? <clears throat> I mean, Kate, Kate Cole, sir, and Mr. Aaron, do you know what do what, ah, to what do I owe the pleasure? No need for sir, Mr. Kumbalili. 
that I cannot say that name. As the inventor of fortified cardboard, you are the one who deserves my respect. Oh, I thank you. He invented fortified cardboard? That old dude? Wow. But what's he doing here? I completely understand how you feel, Mr. Cumbalelli. For a great innovator like yourself to have to work and even your development laboratory taken away. Mr. Cole. Remember how it felt back then, until you developed fortified cardboard. LBX were very dangerous. Every day, there were more and more stories of children being injured playing with those new toys. It was only a matter of time before the production of LBX was halted. But then you came along with your wonderful new invention, and a brand new stage for LBX was born. They were received over, arrived overnight, with a new and most importantly safe environment in which to do battle. But that invention isn't any anymore. Indeed, it's all because of that awful Damon Osgood, the way he stole your rights to fortified cardboard. Shameful. And yet, Tiny Orbit is selling more LBX units than they've ever before. Do you think all that's true? Well, battle cubes are made by Tiny Orbit, that much is for sure. Of course, I will never forget the kindness you showed me when I was most in need, Mr. Cole. Mm. By the way, Mr. Aaron. Yes? Is Professor Yamano still being held in the depths of Angel Star? He is. Excellent. Did you hear that? I knew it. My dad is here! Mr. Cominelli, I have a favor to ask of you. I'm sure it's something that would be of interest to you personally anyway. If it is connected to the potential revival of Asuka Industries. What do you mean? I shall explain. But perhaps a change of scenery is in order. Please follow me. Oh, he definitely knows we're here. He definitely can tell we're watching and spying on the entire conversation. <clears throat> They're gone. Open the door using your OBX. Hey, Van, do you think this is to... That's got to be a weapon. I mean, this is a factory. What did you expect to have happen? So that rumor Gabe mentioned about Coal Heavy Industries making weapons was true. Yeah, those are tanks. Your d Van's dad and some shady ma weapons manufacturing? Looks like we hit the jackpot here. So we're going to tell this to the police and then get arrested for breaking it. Got it. Van, let's go find your dad. All right. I have no idea how long this episode's been going for because I actually did take a break to go grind, obviously, because there's no way I could have gotten 20 from level 20 to level 36 in the time span of, like, what, 15 seconds? So I kind of have to... I don't know how long it's going to take for this episode to end. Like, I know I don't plan to do much more if I'm correct. Then this episode will end within the next 10 minutes, and that just implies that uh, every random encounter possible ends up occurring, and I don't run from them. Like, every step would have to be a random encounter. Thankfully, that's not the case. For now. This should... Why do I open my mouth? Why do I open my mouth? <laughs> you know, that's fine, because we get to, um... These guys shouldn't be too... Oh, that guy had a staff of Sterebos. That might not be good. Staff of Sterebos, kind of a bit too strong, if you ask me. But let's figure this out. Shouldn't be that bad. Run all the way over here. And... Oh! You saw that danger marking? Yeah, that means this guy over here with the sniper rifle was about to fire at me. And I stopped him, and then he immediately fired at me again. And we killed that guy too. These are kind of easy to handle when you have like two different snipers on the board. Because uh, both snipers are inherently skilled. Because one of them is me, and then one of them is Kaz, who is literally capable of like, what, killing everyone? With just pure sniper accuracy? I really like having two snipers on the team. I never get to keep it for long because Kaz normally levels up his weapon long before uh, I can enjoy it too much. But I always enjoy this part where I get to have two snipers at the same time because it's just so funny having two snipers. Because no one can stand up to them. And I remember earlier when I was doing grinding, we were on a three versus three random encounter back in the slum. Because I was using that place to grind to get medals. I find it funny how when we were fighting three people, I, when I was playing with Kaz, I snipe shot two of them down immediately. And the third one was just cornered by the AI where they just couldn't move and I put them out of their misery. I just found that... It's funny for some reason, like how the AI knew. Yeah, let's gang up on this one guy. Oh, I forgot to move out of my spot. Well, too bad. Okay. Jesus Christ, mate. Okay, that guy, I probably should have fired for the other one. Whatever. Okay, let's take some shots. Who, wait, who shot at me? 
What the fuck? Ah, uh, this isn't good. Kaz, I'm here to help. I don't know how long I can help for. Oh, I'm being shot from behind. Right? Unless Amy took out one of them. Yeah, no, I'm taking damage, but I have no time to care. Can I please just hit this guy? There we go. Kaz and... Okay, cool. So in the time span it took me to take out the one that was assaulting Kaz, Amy took out hers, and then I took out Kaz's, and then Kaz took out the one that was assaulting me. Somehow Amy handled herself and then me and Kaz were just attempting to trade bad guys that whole time. Cool. Well, at least our armors isn't overleveled, like uh, the entirety of my character is overleveled. And if I'm correct, this will lead us to the bottom floor, which will lead us to the end of this episode? Right? Right? Should? Yep, it does. Okay, so this is where this one ends. Um, because after that door, I'm just gonna spoil it now. <laughs> Once we walk through that door, there's gonna be a big boss fight. So, uh, just gonna say nope to that. I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join Discord, follow Twitch. I'll see you on the next one. And in that one, we will take on whatever boss fight is coming for us, and we will hopefully find our dad down there. So, I'll see you all then. Don't forget to battle on.